Hi guys, today I will show you a useful resource for Apple study and also for uh, plain bill if you mind it. The website is the old uh, National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics where you can find any kind of information you might need about airfoils, aircraft, materials, goods, craft, uh, glues or whatever. For example, if you need some information about glue, the gl glue fusing airplane part, if you want, if you need some information about woods, data design of plywood aircraft, if you want some information about fuel, if you want some information about G JT4, and uh, everything, Pro also propeller, helicopter, for example, supplementary chart for estimating performance of high performance helicopter. Here you can find, for example, the useful report 824, where you can find uh, a summary of airfoil data. There are a lot of reports with, uh, with this information, but you don't need to download everyone. You just look for what you need and then just download it and study and choose what information you might like for it. For example, we have uh, some, some wing, wing configuration with dihedral and so on. Then we have a general formulas for the calculation of airplane performance. And uh, this report, for example, is very useful. It is uh, for 460, 460, and uh, if you remember. In the previous tutorial, when we built um, an airfoil starting from the polar coordinates, here you can find uh, useful information on a lot of types of profiles. Remember that uh, any information you might need, you might need, or you will find on Wikipedia on uh, every every place, it comes from here. For example. We choose the 4412 profile, so this, this one, and now we will see if this suit or not for uh, for build a, an airplane, right? 4416, 4412. Okay, on the left we have the ratio to lift re, uh, lift to drag ratio. On the right, we have the lift coefficient, and uh, on the x-axis, we have the angle of attack in degrees. As we can see, the maximum lift coefficient is 1.6 at almost 20 degrees of angle of attack. After this angle, the profile goes in install, and the lift drops not so sharply. So this is a good profile. If we look, uh, for example, the series six profile, for example, this one. As you can see, after the stall maximum, the angle, the, the lift drops sharply, but this, uh, the airplane is still uh, under our control. But if we choose, take a look if we need, oh, take a look of this. For example, if we want, if we want to build um, a model with uh, this profile, we, will s we see that at 24 degrees of angle of attack, there is a sharp loss of lift and uh, the airplane will uh, 
will not be under our control even if installed. So take a look in, uh, in all these charts when you choose uh, a profile for an aircraft you want to be. For example, if we take a look on the 4421, we see that there is a, a good region of, uh, of maximum lift starting from 60, 16 to 28. So we we can use this profile on this uh, on this angle of attack and having some lift. Remember that this data, this chart, are obtained in a wind tunnel, and the wings in a wind in a wind tunnel does not have tip. And as you know, the tip means loss, loss of lift, turbulence, and a lot of problems. So, up before using this, you need to apply a correction. And we will see in another tutorial how to apply a correction in order to have a proper, a proper co lift coefficient for a, a real wing. And also we will see how scale effect might uh, might change the real coefficient so i hope this will be useful for you remember the site here you can find a lot of very useful things just search it and uh, that's it thank you and have a nice day Sì. Ciao, vale, ho visto la medicina.